Okay, so once you've done the folding over of both your, your back insides, you take your zip, you can fold over the edge or you can chop it off, right? There's much controversy about whether you chop it or not. I've been chopping for pretty much every dress I've made and it's not made any great difference. But for all the people who will complain about it, I will fold it over this time. Um, and then you pop it just where you know your zip end will go. And then just fold that over and pin it in place. <coughs> um, and repeat on the other side. So really the only purpose of this is to mark exactly where your zip is going to end. That way you can make, make it nice and so the zip end is this bit here and you want to mark that onto your fabric. Oh, we're drop. Sorry, whoops, that's where we will be ending our sewing. So make a mark where that's going to end. <coughs> Make a mark where that's going to end. You hope that the marks on either side are exactly the same. Mine are, so yes. Yay, we're happy about that. Okay, so where's my pen lid gone? Okay. So then these are just a little bit, a few cheaty things for your zips. Um, I probably should have organised myself a little bit better. Okay, there it is. So take your zip and a ruler. Um, if you're using a coloured zip, obviously you can use a fabric pen so it's nice and clean. But take your zip and mark a quarter inch out from the edge of the zip. Um, that's just going to give you a nice line to sew on. I find if I don't do this part, then my actual zip sewing is a little bit wonky and I like it to not be wonky. Alright, so you mark out your where you're going to sew on your zip. Um, and then, you probably, then we've got to move over to the machine, so I will take you over there now.